Okay, hi everybody, this is Sam. This is the movie wrap-up for July. I hope this doesn't start jerking or something. My computer did something weird, and I've dropped... I've dropped... Um, DVDs on it before, and it's never affected it. I dropped this movie on it. I was like right in the middle of a freaking video. Please don't start jerking. Is there something wrong with my laptop now? God, I hope not. But I dropped this on it, and it like blacked out. And that's all acting all jerky. Didn't update and oh crap. It wasn't, it's not, it's nothing. It's nothing. Hope it's nothing. I'll just start over again. I watched The Blue Lagoon, maybe in 1980. It's just about a girl and a boy and a cook, an adult cook, who gets shipped wrecked on an island. They eventually fall in love and, um, uh, as teenagers and things happen. I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen it. Right. <laughs> like I said, I already did this like halfway through it. I mean, I watched a decent amount of movies this month. Okay. I watched Friday 13th Part 2, made in 1981. It's just a continuance. I'm sure I freaking hold these now. A continuance of the story. Uh, except this one's got Jason in it. The other one had Jason's mom in it. This one's just a continuance of that. Jason goes around killing camp counselors. <laughs> I keep forgetting to show you that. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Scooby Doo and the Alien Invaders made in. 1996 to 2005, that's what it says. This one's just about Scooby-Doo and Shaggy meeting these two girls out in the desert, uh, and about aliens, and about uh, people stealing gold, so, yeah. I'm trying to remember everything I said about each one of these. And Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, I do not know when this was made because... The date is not on the back, so I'm not even going to try to look for it again. I'm pretty sure it's 1980s, 85, I'm mistaken, or 80, 81 to 85. Um, I could be wrong, you guys tell me. Uh, it's just about Freddy Krueger, uh, uh, I guess a demon, ghost demon guy, it kills you in your dreams there. <laughs> It goes after a group of friends, mainly because their parents had something to do with his death when he was human, alive. <sighs> Sleepy Hollow, uh, made in 1999, I really didn't need to look. Uh, basically, it's just, uh, it's just about the Headless Horseman, which is about a crane. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's, I love this movie. Okay. This is where I was. Uh, the Graves. Made in 2010. Uh, just about two sisters going on a road trip before one sister goes off to her job in the city and bad things happen. Again, I think it's got to do with like demons. And then watched Bring It On Again. Made in 2003. Uh, it's basically almost the same story as the first one. Except this one's got to do with college. Uh, 
group of college girls opening up a new cheerleading squad and they got to compete with the other cheerleading squad that's in the same college. Okay. And the wedding singer made in I know this wasn't the 80s. I know this wasn't the 80s. It's not telling me when. 90s, possibly. Ugh. It's not telling me when. But it's basically about a guy who is basically stiffed at the altar, and he's a wedding singer, and after he's stiffed at the altar, he doesn't really love wedding singing anymore. And until he meets his, uh, her, and they fall in love. And I then watched all four of these: Halloween 2, Frankenstein, Dra A Branch of Dracula, and Underworld. Oh, actually, that's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, the Halloween 2, 2009. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, 1984. Branch of Dracula, 1992, and Underworld, 2003. Uh, Halloween 2 is basically, if you've seen Halloween, the Rob Zombie version, it's just continuance of that. It's like a year later. And, uh... <sighs> yeah, it's a year later, and then that's when she finds out everything, basically. Um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, it's just another retelling of Frankenstein, except it's a little bit more romancy. <sighs> in fact, I actually feel bad for Frankenstein in that. Not the monster, but the man, you know. Uh, I then watched I'm Strong with Dracula, which is about Dracula and Mina and all of them. Like, that story. I mean, who, who hasn't heard the story of Dracula? Just about Dracula meeting Mina, falling in love with her, thinking it's his wife from, uh, you know, from his past, and and Underworld just about vampires and werewolves fighting each other, and this new hybrid guy <sighs> falling in love with a vampire woman, and she becomes a hybrid in her own sense. And, I don't know, I don't think it's in this one. I think it's about two or three. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Then I watched An American Haunting, which was made in 2005. Uh, uh, this is basically the Bell Witch, the um, story. Sorry, I probably didn't give you the time. Uh, yeah, it's basically the story behind the Bell Witch Haunting. Just uh, for me. The um the, the girl on the cover, the um I can't remember her name in the movie. My head my the you know no remember her name. Just about her what happened to her and everything. Well, a theory of what happened to her. I then watched uh Ghost Rider, Mothman Prophecy, The Bride, and Super Window. Ghost Rider 2007, uh, Mothman Prophecy 2002, The Bride 1985, and The Secret Window is 2004. Um, Ghost Rider is just about a guy who makes a deal with the devil to save somebody he loved, which ends up not really saving the person, and him having to live with the curse of the Ghost Rider. And the Mothman Prophecy is about a guy who's a, a reporter, his wife dies, and she supposedly seen the Mothman, and you know, before she died, and he, that's the reason he gets picked up on the story. Goes to uh, West Virginia, and, yeah, West Virginia, and, you know, picks up the story and tries to follow it. The Bride is just The Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, that's actually what 
um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is about too. It's like a mixture of Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein together. Uh, but the Bride on this one's sort of like that, except it's like uh, what is his name? This is Doctor Frankenstein. Uh, because I think his name's a little different in this one. Is uh, falls in love with the woman creature that he creates. And the secret window is about a guy who basically has a psychotic break. He's like a split personality kind of thing. And I watched The Host, made in 2013. I think it's beyond pointless of them making the part two now, unless they can get the same people again. That's just about it. like aliens trying to make a perfect world and people who are trying to fight to keep the world the way it was. Look, falling in love and stuff like that. <laughs> Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, made in 2008. It's basically just about two teenagers, if I'm mistaken, falling in love and meeting, falling in love. Probably can show you uh, You probably won't get to see it, it's really simple. Over music, basically. The Proposal, made in 2009. Every time I say the year, it makes me like think back how far ago that was. Uh, and I mean all the movies. It makes me think what year is it and then how many years ago that was. Uh, but, well, I actually thought it was later than that. Uh, It's just about this woman who's a editor, like, you know, book editor, and she pretty much make, bribes her assistant <laughs> to marry her so she can stay in the country because she's there, her green card, you know, um, something about a green card. and. She ba they basically have to fool her bosses, the people, other, other people who run the business, and they also got to fool his family that they're in love and they're really in love and they're getting married for real. And they eventually actually for real fall in love with each other. And then I watched Halloween, which. I know this was made in 1979. Uh, I don't even have to look back. The back doesn't even tell me. 1978. It just said it right there. Kind of corrected me. I wasn't so sure. I was thinking 78, 79. Um, but I knew it was like the tail end of the 70s. Uh, it's just about Michael Myers because it will not tell you that much except for about the DVD. Um, this is just about Michael Myers. Before he was known as Michael Myers, I think, or I think they just called him the Shape. Uh, going after Jet, uh, Lori, I'm sorry, Lori, uh, babysitting these other kids, and goes after her friends, not knowing that that's her brother. <sighs> and his bo his doctor is boss. <laughs> His doctor is trying to come there, help her warn her. I hope this, I have to watch this video just to make sure. If it does, if it's a little jerky at the beginning, I am so sorry. I don't know what the heck. I'm going to have to look up that one thing that needed updating just to make sure it did update. You know what I mean? just to make sh freaking sure that it did.
think it was iTunes. If it needs updating again, it will tell me. Like if it didn't work or look, it didn't do the update, it will let me do it again. So it, it should be no problem. But if it does jerk, I am sorry. I do not know what happened. Except I just dropped a DVD on my laptop and it <clears throat> never happened before, ever. Because I've dropped DVDs, I've dropped books, I've dropped bunches of stuff on it. And it's never been stuff. I hope nothing's wrong with my laptop now. Uh, okay, thanks for watching everybody. I am done rambling. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Bye.